This is 2OF Entertainment. Welcome to the Lost Dollar Business Club, where we talk about business, 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 and not just business. We talk about what makes businesses go up and what makes businesses go down. If you're interested in businesses, this is where it is. We talk about the global economy. We talk about global politics. We talk about everything and anything business related that affects your life on a global scale as well as a local scale. And don't miss after the show, Lost and Found. Here we are, various we members are and guests. Yes, <laughs> we are. I'm not sure who we are. So, yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome Saturday morning. The people on All the right. must like right love that music. Saturday morning. Or some guy driving to his country club in Westchester right now, listening to that music. Going, ah, it's too early for that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we had to tone it down a bit, you know, because of the we did tone it more. down. We did. Well, yeah. we did because the yeah. la- the first set of music was great until the people who wrote it got a hold of us and said, "That's your naughty boys," and we're like, "Yes, we are." <laughs> so we had a we couldn't we couldn't use it, and then we did the second round of music, which was literally like being in a, a mosh pit. Um, nobody liked that. That lasted two weeks, and now oh, we have this. And I actually I actually like this. This is okay. Um, even though it's copywritten, but it's YouTube. Chill vibe, chill vibe. So it's 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 a chill. It's very nice. It's very cool. Yeah. Um, oh look, guys. Yeah. yeah. How's how's everybody doing, John? Good to see you again. Good to see yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. Why did you miss me from last week? No, nobody missed you. At all. <laughs> nobody even knew, nobody even knows when you're not here. So, yeah, yeah, it's true. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll come back next month then. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, actually, yeah. is that true? No, it's not, it's not next Friday. Next Friday. Well, look, so. we've got some good things coming up uh, on this show because we'll yeah. talk about. Look, we've got a couple big articles from the BBC, and we've got a couple big articles from the great American CNBC. One being the Starbucks CEO being a super commuter. Want to know your thoughts mm-hmm. on this guy commuting a thousand miles by via private corporate jet? to uh, his Seattle office from California. And we've got uh, self-driving vehicles, which I actually took one in in San Francisco. I was driven around town with a driverless vehicle by Waymo. And now Uber is partnering with Cruise, the GM-owned Cruise, to do the same thing. Driverless vehicles everywhere. Uh, But before we get into any of that, we've got Chubby the Cat. Which is oh, an AI yeah. that you've got to know about. How do you not know about this AI generated cat? I, I knew about him about an hour and a half ago. Just so everybody knows, there's a BBC art called The Unstoppable Rise of Chubby, and not your Chubby, but Chubby. Why TikTok <laughs> AI generated cat could be the next future of the internet. Um, so for everybody, um, Chubby the cat on TikTok is a global sensation. Global um, sensation. Well, and uh, I wish I was joking, YouTube. but it's not. It's all over the place. <laughs> He's over all over no. the place. I'm not. Are we allowed to show Chubby's pictures or no? No, I don't think so. I think they're all copyrighted okay. up to Ying Yang. So, uh, uh, but, so what, and, but what? But what? But what we can do? What we can do is we can uh, pay a bill. So we'll all right, let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. Pay a bill. Get the freedom and the flexibility of remote work in the lucrative tech industry. Bend your life around, around the world. Bendicoot is the premier course and community for thriving in a remote tech career. Join the revolution today. Bendicoot.com, official partner of the Lost Dollar Business Club. Now, uh, here's what I found interesting in the article about Chabby the Cat. One, one of their creators said, we make the cat do whatever we want. That's I'm right. Like, okay, I'm good with that. Here's what I thought. They have 160,000 followers, and that 160,000 followers get like 50 million views. Go figure. Here's what I thought was more interesting than anything in the article. Sad videos generate more engagement because they elicit the compassion of the viewers. John, start crying. So, yeah. um, I just, but I thought that was really interesting. So, they, yeah, like uh, they, they have a picture in the article of Chubby crying. Uh, and I had no emotion towards that because it's no. an AI generated thing. So I don't really care. But apparently, well, I shared that. I actually I shared easy. that with a few people just because I, you know, just on my phone. So, you know, sorry you about tested that. tested that out. Just tested it out. And they, were going, oh, they were saying, oh, no, look at the cats. There's little cats stuck outside the school. What's he done? Who cares? Yeah. It's a yeah. cat. Yeah. The yeah. best picture that they have of the cat, I will say, is the AI-generated cat in a sailboat. 
with Godzilla right behind him. Yeah, that to right. me is the right. best picture yeah. of of the chubby. Yeah, and you know, you got... probably right gold mine as well, of course. You know, so. yeah. Yeah. I'm just wondering what's the, what's delaying the TikTok ban because yeah, let's get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, TikTok ban is supposed this to be at the end of the year. That's 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 until so, or someone right. buys them. TikTok's not, not giving you information. They're not the doing US that. Only, yeah. The US so, only. The US only. Yeah. So um, you have six yeah. five more months, and then there'll be no more TikTok here. Yeah, we're gonna try to stay, you know, intelligent. You know, not look at chubby and and cry, and you know, the next thing, you know. Oh, be... don't worry about that. We're sitting here in Europe. We're just gonna share it all with you, John. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought I thought about yeah, you. Yeah. I thought about you that when I when I saw the the the, the weightlifting cat. The, oh, that you know, was funny. So when I. I thought I thought immediately thought of you. Yeah, I think, and, and and this week, of course, I actually shared an AI photo with with uh, Stephen on one on those yeah. knobs or knobs, and I thought yes, it was yeah. pretty naff. It was actually a an, an elephant um, with a really colourful a uh, ski jacket on on yeah. these uh, on slopes. these standing on two snowboards, and I yeah. thought it was absolute. Who? But uh, Stephen really liked it. So, I thought it was cool. I want to. I yeah. told him I want a three D image of that on my desk. I'm all for yeah. that. Yeah, I just listen. Yeah. It's just a dumbification of everybody. It just well, yeah, the, is it, is the BBC is, is the BBC dumbified now because uh, oh or yeah, it's been dumbified or... for years. But uh... <laughs> the globe is dumbified. But, but, I mean, but, but what makes an intelligent news show? I mean, yeah. seriously, if you think about it. Even the real news shows like Meet the Press and everything, yeah. they all become dumbed down because people are stupid. And you can't yeah, talk intellectually like you talked about, like you talked in the 60s or the 70s and the 80s about politics or religion or about whatever. Yeah, they we have to dumb it down. Right, because they had real dialogue and it wasn't like, oh, we're Republicans and you're Democrats. It's like, no, we're Americans. This oh. is what we think. And now it's like it's either a, a battleground. Or people are just stupid, and they just don't get it. And the intel, the, the you know, the intellectuals that read the New York Times, and that's even gone dumbed down. That's the whole. That's a that's a thing. You know, that's very bad. Intellectual, no. sure. But I, yeah, I want to go back to something that John. Stupid. I want to go back to something that John said because you know he said, "Well, you know why? I mean, are you not stimulated by people's people have have this wonderful tool and they have all these things in their head." Um, you know, like oh, I'd love oh, to I've visualize got something in my head. An, an, an elephant on skis on the ski slope. Yeah. And now, for yeah. the first time in their lives, they have the ability to visualize that. I mean, is that is, well, that, is that like the wrong? dogs playing poker? I visualize dogs playing that picture of the dogs playing poker. It's the same thing, really. Yeah, but uh, yeah, are you I, saying that the average person now can do it? Like, John, let's just go with John's brain. John's visualization. It's very scary. So John's going to visualize whatever on a pair of skis doing whatever, yada, yada, yada. But because John can't paint, he can't do anything. But now with AI, John can talk to AI and tell it, right. I want to see AB. Exactly. So is that what you're saying? Because of AI now, everybody can get out their inner Picasso. Is that what we're going with? Yeah. Yeah. I but is it art? That's the question. Generating I, 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 chubby the cat I, as a result. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, art. I got I mean, a chubby friend. Art? I mean, you know, what's art? I mean. You can look at a Jackson Pollock, and you can just see some guy chucking paint over a canvas, right? And somebody, somebody else will go, "Oh, that's just, oh, that's just wonderful." And so it's all, you know. Can you do uh, that imitation of Lady Dame again for us? That was just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's it 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 so wonderful. Look at that! Look at that gentleman over there pouring <laughs> pouring paint over a canvas. Oh, yeah. really nice. so. You know, whereas somebody else just says, "Yeah, well, some some dickhead over there with a pot of paint." You know, that's so. Okay. So it's, it's all in the eye of the beholder. Indeed, but yeah, I mean, well, is it is it right. not is it not a, you know an absolute release uh, for a lot of people who've got all this stuff you know in their heads, and I'm one of them. You know, to, oh, to finally, created, finally, you've created some AI movies. That's true. You've been yeah, doing to it. finally to finally get get some stuff out there. You know, for, if only for yourself. I mean, I, I do see incredibly talented. And when you see these some of these like Chubby the Cat, for instance, that must have taken a lot of, of you know, working the prompts out, you know, burning a lot of electricity right. in order to get to where they want to get to. 
And I always say to Stephen, we have this on the No Stomps and No Show, we do the AI photo of the week. And it, it, on the one side, it, it really excites me that this creativity is now available to everyone. But on the other side, I just think, yeah, you know, it's, it's also a bit of a waste, which I think is what John was referring to. Yeah. But for oh, them, maybe God. it's not. Maybe it's just a, an outlet. Like when people doodle or draw, right? And it's not your job. And in and, and, and I watch people in meetings all the time doodle. Is that a waste? No, it's just a, it's an outlet. So I don't yeah. I don't have a well, problem. The guy, with the guy, one of the guys doing the the chubby uh, the chubby the cat uh, TikTok, yeah. they say that the guy actually is a is in the finance business in France. Right, so I see that. Yes. he's doing this yeah. on the side. He's well, doing well, yeah. ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching <laughs> business. Yeah, yeah, right. That's right. But but so, here's what's here's it's interesting though because there's always this thing like we you know Adam on the Eve we have Adam right who's an artist world famous, um, and we always talk about is it art. And now even Adam is using digital and whatever, and even Morton who does um, ADHD, or not ADHD, or um, uh, ad hoc, he's an artist. So all these artists now are using AI generated because it's much easier to get from A to Z. But it goes back to, to, in my mind, is it art? Yes, it's art that's kind of cute. Like I can 3D print stuff. Like I have a 3D printed dragon behind me that someone gave me that was a, came out as in their brain on a, you know, it's a poster and I was at a thing and I said, that would be really cool in 3D and three weeks later, it just magically showed up. So I thought that was very cool. But is it art? And, and my problem with it is I'm not spending $20 million on it. Like I'll, for a Picasso or for a Rembrandt or a Renoir. But if pop, one person does it. Yeah. But they the really problem. don't because the NFT, the NFT screwed that up. Um, That's true. you know with the with the board monkey thing when it went to like a million dollars and now it's worth about three dollars right <laughs> so right. And so that's the problem with with when you use um ai for art the question really is then who's the artist i'm instructing like the art student if you will so the art student is the ai so then you go back to the time of da vinci or you go back to the time of yeah um, they had help which i'm gonna what would happen is is that they would students would paint the Mona, you know, they did most of the work on the Mona Lisa or the sculptures or Michelangelo's work. And then the artist would come in and do the final touches and then take all the credit. So, you know, if the question is, is it just the, the newest version of AI in art? Because we don't have students in yeah. schools that, you know, hang out with you and you get to do things, you know, uh, and is this the new version of it, I guess, is what, is what I'm thinking. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, I question. mean, my Michael started the show we're talking about being in a driverless uh, taxi. I mean, is that art? Yeah. Is somebody is somebody what? perfected the art? No, has somebody perfected the art of writing software to such a point that it can be totally autonomous. No, that's not art. I don't know if that's an art. That's, that's not that's art. That's skill. technology. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's an skill. artist would an artist would debate that. He would say that he has an element of skill. What artist? Well, the artist, the what artist would make the driverless car drive in a certain pattern yeah, right. <laughs> around the city. <laughs> so this so, is why you follow the ridiculous pathway. So do you like think Crisco when he did the, the the pink around all the islands in Miami in the eighties? Do you think like Putin is an artist? What kind of an artist is Putin then? Because he's creating a lot Pollock. of chaos. <laughs> well, he's Pollock. He was like Jackson Pollock. He's right? Pollock. He's Pollock. Jackson David. Pollock. Is he an artist? Hey. Come on. Uh, Putin. Hey. <laughs> well, well, I think, uh, yeah. I mean, I've there's an interesting, uh, interesting stuff happening. Uh, you know, quite an angle. Create yeah. me a plan to. John, you're on oh, mute. You the way we like you. Yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah. right. We yeah, put you on mute. 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 We put you on mute, John. As soon as he started AI. talking about AI, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Way to go, John. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so come on, John. Come on, John. Swear, swear again. Swear again. We went to chat GPT for, or was it 3.5? I said, hey, create me a plan, a, a war plan to invade the, uh, uh, Ukraine with minimum losses and so we can win in 20 days. Who did yeah. that? Putin, Putin did that. Putin well, did that? Yeah. It didn't yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. You know, incorporates well, firing of generals as they fail, and you know, <laughs> casualties are not really important. Oh no! Oh, well, in that case, that's awesome. Let's uh, we can go yeah, invade any easy. country with that plan. So yeah, I mean, let's go back to the wireless car, though. 
<laughs> so Michael was in a driverless car. I was. I, in Michael, San Francisco, I took a driverless so, well, Waymo that's, car. That's, that's where you left not your heart. Not driven, um, like, not yeah, driven by right. Vladimir Putin, then. So that's, right. that's no, good. Not well, we don't Putin. know. It may have been driven yeah. by, by Russian programmers. Oh, Russian. But, uh, it, could, it could have been like yeah. the uh, the Amazon store where the pro the driver is really an Indian We're driving really the car. Indian. You don't yeah, know. Right. No. Um, but no, what I thought was interesting is Michael said you know, it, that the car dropped him off four blocks later than it should have, but there was no one to tell stop the car. That's right. But I thought that was very interesting. I could, I, I would have, because any other driver, you would have said, "Oh, I can, I can walk the the two blocks. It's easier this yeah. way." But he went all the way around the block to get me precisely to the right spot. He and it was a, a much longer route. Was there a, like a he. fake autonomy here? Why, why is an autonomous uh, taxi a he? Is it oh, like well. I mean, do you want it to be a? I guess you could choose your, the gender of your autonomous vehicle. Uh, how many yeah. boats? Boats. How does a boats car identify? How does they? Yeah. Not fine, really. I, I saw what I saw a truck yesterday. There's one of these big gas diesel trucks, and it said it identified as a gas Prius. Diesel? I thought that was the best. So, yeah, uh, I identified as a, as a as a hybrid, as, as a Prius. Yeah, I thought that as was a Prius. Great. I was like, all right. Yeah. And then I saw some some <clears> Mustang that <throat> said he identified as a Lamborghini. And right. Like, no, okay, boats are sure. usually yeah. boats are usually uh, female. Female. So, uh, yeah, boats are yeah. yeah. Cars so are usually yeah. female. Cars are usually well. female. Yeah. Yeah. Cars are female. Yeah, but is the autonomous driver of the of the car male or female? Yeah, That's Waymo. Yeah. Waymo. Yeah. I don't know. Waymo yeah. sounds like a guy, but. Yeah, it does. Oh, maybe, yeah. a little too much yeah, but, to drink. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so Waymo, we're just so Waymo down the street here. Is what we Can you take there it you to the airport? Yeah. No, this that, is, right? so the thing is, they'll only, they'll only, there are certain areas where they'll, they'll drive you, and it's only, uh, like kind of low speed situations. Okay. So this was just taking me around San Francisco. Uh, I mean, did you do it, Michael, because you needed to get somewhere, or just did, did you do it for? The I experience? did need to get somewhere. I did need. To, I did need to get to the airport. It wouldn't take me all the way to the airport, so it mm -hmm. took me to the. Uh, it took me to the BART, the uh, the train station. Yeah, and uh, from where I was, and it was it was like a it was like a fifteen minute drive, but at the speed that it, uh, of a normal Uber driver, you know, I would have yeah. gotten there in half the time. And you would have made it to the airport in the same amount of time. So there and I would have made it right. to the airport the same. Well, I, yeah. I, I think I, I'm fascinated by the driverless cars. Um, and at some point, I want it to be like in the movies where I can get into my car and call it, you know, Sally, drive me to wherever. And I can work or read or yeah, right. know, do whatever I want to do. And and I'm I, that's what I really want. I think we're at the infancy of that. But are they going to drive 30 years. your – are you gonna? There's a difference between having fleet vehicles like Uber and General Motors right. doing their yeah. their driverless cruise vehicles, and having right. personal vehicles be driven by auto, yeah. uh, driven autonomously. Yeah. I mean, I know I they're, the testing here, little... they're, they're testing here. They're testing in Europe all these uh, driverless trucks. Yeah, uh, they're they doing that have, here they too. Will, yeah, they'll have a dedicated lane, like a bus oh, lane, wow. or you have then a truck lane. Because that. You got to give them their own their own lane. Get out of yeah. the way. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. But I want to have a car like they. The, one of the movies I, I remember, it's like you just get in, and I saw this, and I forgot what supercar company is. This is their concept car. The door opens, and you get in, and it's it's almost like sitting at a dinner table. Everybody's facing each other. Like there's four that's, things that on was the table. One of the, the Mercedes uh, concept yeah. cars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and that's kind of what I'm waiting for because that to me would be okay. I get into my car. I can put my laptop oh. on the table or my book or whatever, and I can yeah. be take me to wherever, take me to the airport, take would me. You, home. And the best part about it, do you not think is, that people wait, would wait, fight, wait, wait, wait. Stephen? People For would what? fight because well, because I'd want to be sitting in the back looking forward and not with my back to the. <laughs> oh, I could care less. I mean, well, some of the concept yeah. cars don't even have uh, windows you see out of. It's all monitors, so you oh, can look at whatever digital. you want. Yeah, it's oh, all okay. digital stuff, so you can look at whatever you want. But to me, I thought, how cool would that be? I have to catch a. 6 a.m. flight, I can go into my did my car and say, take me to the airport. And when you're done, go back home, That's put right, yourself yeah. in the garage. And it yeah. goes home, puts itself in the garage. And then when the family wakes up, they get in the car and uh, there you go. So yeah. things like that, I think, are very cool. Well, what about for an flying, older person? Flying yeah. cars, then. Flying cars. That's well, India's thing. doing that. India no, so doing is the UAE. The, UAE is the, huge the, right now with flying cars. It, they they want to have the first here, so. flying taxi um, next year. That's yeah. for commercial use. Chinese, probably Chinese have with flying cars. 
well, the Chinese are doing everything. Um, the problem I have with flying cars is this. I think it's cool. I think there's too many morons out there um, that are going to crash. So unless you have the super intelligence that can control your speed, your level, check for uh, telephone poles, check for this, check for that, right. I think it's going to be the apocalypse. Tricky. Um, now, <laughs> if, you live, if you live in the middle of nowhere, like in Dubai, and I'm not saying that's nowhere, but you know, there's certain places in Dubai that if I'm taking off from the top of my building on the 40th floor, that's where the helipad is, I take off from there and I'm going to fly to Abu Dhabi. Between Abu Dhabi and Dubai, there's nothing. Literally, not, there's buildings. Nothing. That I'm okay with. But if you're in New York City, I'm not going to say that, you know, everybody there has, you know, a full set of faculties and there's not a few people three fries short of a Happy Meal. But I don't think, uh, I think you're going to see like, you know, Pan Am used to land helicopters, which is now the Met building on the roof. Yeah. Um, and they stopped because they would crash. I think you're going to see a lot of crashes. So I think flying cars are going to have to be either super technology, which we're way off, or in the rural area. Like someone's like, oh, I'm in Dubai. I want to get to Abu Dhabi or wherever. I can get my flying car and, and go. That I'm okay Is that going to, be this, going to be the same argument then about drones as well? Because we, I, I shared an article this week about uh, they've, been, they've been testing it here, uh, IKEA. Uh, we're having drones in our factories yeah. to basically to, 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 to do continuous stock taking. Uh, but or, but in the UK they're using it in remote uh, places now in the north uh, to mm -hmm. deliver medicines and to deliver okay. blood and and maybe you know moving forward to, you know body parts if they're needed uh, yeah they, which is cheap well you know at the moment they have to be done they have to be done. well everybody everybody needs body parts but you but what need, I mean you is need an arm <laughs> yeah. yeah. But what I mean well, is Walmart, at the moment, they'd have, they'd have to be done through via helicopters, which is incredible. Oh, okay. But well, Walmart and, and Amazon in America are doing that. In certain cities, they've got um, where they, they you go. I know there's this, uh, a lady in Arizona. For, oh, no, the one in Arizona is still going because they did a whole story on it last two weeks ago. Um, mm -hmm. And I was like, well, that's because I thought they killed it. So maybe Amazon did, but Walmart's still testing this, the drone stuff out. Um, where they drop it off and stuff. And I thought, but it's like a certain weight and it's a certain this. It's like, basically, it's like, great, I want I want Ben and Jerry's. Bring me my ice cream. That's yeah. what it's good for. You know what I mean? It's not going to be good for, I got 50 pounds of groceries. It doesn't yeah, but Who's holding that that back? Because maybe it's a weight, because the aviation industry, you know, it's a bit like, uh, you know, the old people that were selling horses before Ford started uh, putting cars on the road. They don't want people with drones, you know, flying around all over the place taking the taking away their business so there's a bit that you know it's a big who who are you got i mean if you've got a drone you're going to do it in certain places to a certain height and then uh you know mysteriously they'll, they'll be taken down or whatever or the boys will come around and take it away conspiracy so, theory uh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah yeah. Now, well, if you're delivering listen, a Domino's pizza, you know, it's a little less yeah. controversial, I guess. But yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, well, I, but it's also do if there's weather, there's this, there's that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, you know, there's certain drones that can fly 100 mile an hour wind, no problem. There's other drones that can't fly if there's no wind, regardless, they just crap, right? So the other problem is if I'm Domino's, to your example, I'm sure then my insurance company is having a heart attack because my liability now is yeah. going to be exponentially huge because what happens if it crashes what happens if this happens what well, then that happens but, but, but i mean there's all these issues so i think yeah. it's all cool but i we're probably five or ten years away i think we're it's going to be one of those things where i push a button and the drone magically delivers me whatever the drone's magically going to deliver me I think amazon so. packages yeah. or any but bonnet, according to david body parts that's how i guess oh, kids are basically yeah. going to get their dates so yeah, deliver a date, yeah. click, click, click. Like everything yeah. is going to be in specific cases. You know, it's not yeah. going to be. Yeah, exactly. You know. But it, it's interesting to see, of course, that one of the biggest problems you have if you have huge warehouses is keeping your, your true infantry uh, levels up, knowing right. exactly where everything is because, you know, people on forklift trucks don't always put things where they should be. Um, and it can be an absolute nightmare. So, you know, you see why people like IKEA are running drones to do the stock taking for them. And so yeah, I was yeah. watching some guy uh, last week, and uh, he had an, uh, an app on his phone, and he would put the he would just uh, 
used a camera on his phone. It would look at a, at a pallet and it would count everything on the pallet wow. for him. Okay. So, I mean, you just think, okay, now we're now, now these now chips, the, you, know, you know, exactly. Now we've moved on from AI pussies to, you know, something very useful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I oh, well, 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 AI pussy. Kids are living in the basement. Yeah, kids are living in the basement. That's usual. You know what I think we should develop? I think yeah. we should call Tinder or Grinder. You know, for some of you, um, we should call Tinder, and we should say, "Can you deliver my date?" I swipe right, and they swipe right, and now Tinder brings the person to you. Now that's yeah. there's, Bio, there's a drone. Yes, if they should, if they survive, yeah. they're having hard times. You know, these these uh, things, the the their revenue is going down. Tinder. Oh, the apps, yeah. Well, is yeah. it? Yeah. A whole big as as it yeah. should. Well, I should. I guess say it that. doesn't work. What uh, the it app doesn't it, work? You mean it? They work. But really, those apps are made for one thing. They're made to get laid. Yeah. So what ends up happening is, is that, you know, these people go on like, I want to find true love. Then go out like a normal friggin' person and find it like everybody else. You know what I mean? So that's what happens. So I think, yeah. you know, these, the girls or guys are on Tinder. The guys are, oh, that I know that are on Tinder or Bumble or the rest of them. They know why they get laid. There they are. Yeah. The girls are like, I'm looking for my Prince Charming. I'm like, listen. You're yeah. not well, find they, these, they, yeah, these are not the guys that are gonna be your prince charming. They're looking literally like, oh, you're available and I'm in town. Well, I'm it would done. appear that gone <laughs> are the days you could gone are the days you can ask your like your local taxi driver to take you to all the hot spots then because they there's not gonna be anybody there. Take me to the best well, you car. The, wireless, the driverless car. Thank you. Yeah, right. yeah, right. There is no ask for, for for advice. You know, can you know, take me to the that's true? That's something that you miss too. That's something yeah. you miss too. I mean, you get well, no, yeah. You I mean, you, you, don't, you, you don't miss seeing endless photographs of the children, the taxi driver. See my kids, wonderful. Now. You know, you don't get any of that. You don't get all of, of the football banter and and the politics and all the rest. But of I that. like I mean, that. Yeah. I keep yeah. cabs in New York. I don't take Uber in New York. In New York City, I still take a cab because I so want the guy from Senegal. <laughs> That's talking to his brother or planning a terrorist attack or whatever the hell he's doing. And I, and allegedly, about whatever. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Or you get the Asian guy who's you know telling you about his kids and the, the ones in Harvard Medical and what. I like that. You know, Uber's fine, but it's sort of like very um, uh, sanitary. It's just very okay. transactional. Yeah, it's like hey, how you doing? Yeah. I'm driving, and some Uber drivers are very cool and they'll talk, but they're not like a cab driver in a big city. That knows everything. Like if you go to a and happy and, and, everybody, York, blah, 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 blah. and everybody, and right. everybody, right? Because you can't say to an Uber guy, you can't just get into an Uber and go, "Take me to the coolest place in New York City." That's right. That's right. He's, right. He's going to be like, "Well, you didn't put it in your phone." You didn't put it in your oh, phone. Right. 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 Yeah. If I get into a cab in Brooklyn and go, "Dude, so take me to the city, take right. me to the coolest place," the cab driver, after he drives me through Newark, gets me to the city. <laughs> he'll take me to the coolest place eight hundred dollars later. But that's <laughs> okay. You know, it's the same. It's that. It's that kind of a cool thing. And I understand like in Vegas, you know, people go and they would tell me that the cabbie took them and this. I'm like, literally, you go out of the airport, you make a left and a right, you're at the hotel. So now with Uber, it's that simple. So I understand some of it, why you would do it. And then I understand reasons why people, you know, the old cab story, like, oh, my cab drive, my drive it was $300. And everyone's like, well, it should be like 20 bucks. So, you know, I think there's there's a pro to it, but the con is really that I think that interaction, and that's what we keep missing. I think we keep missing the um, personal interaction. Yeah. I don't know. Well, what do I know? I, well, I mean, Michael may well have experienced the very first testing of that because it took him three or four blocks further. You know, it may that's well true. have been yeah. at that it's, point, it's, and maybe yeah. it, it may be at that point in time that it was supposed to be talking to you. You know, just as I got you a little bit extra in the car. Well, maybe you'll you have AI actually you know. talk to you along the route. You know, then, yeah. that'd well, be great. That then there you'll you have go. a uh, you'll have a, a virtual reality you know figure in the in yeah. in the car. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Can, we get, like, a ra- can we get like a racist like an Archie Bunker bigot AI? That would be awesome. Could you imagine driving? Maybe you could choose your driver. You know, oh, yeah. I, your want, I want racist. I want a racist bigot like Archie Bunker. Definitely only that. because it would be hysterical to drive. Um, that we had a guy that used to drive us in San Francisco, um, and he was an older black gentleman. And when we would pick us up at the airport to take us, and we, he's our driver when we were there every time for years, when someone would do something, he didn't care if they were black, white, Asian, blah, blah, male, female, stuff that came out of his mouth, 
I was like, oh my, you're the funniest guy on the planet. I mean, every stereotypical insult you could think he of, had it. he had it. He had it, and he'd be like, "Did you see that?" And we'd be like, "What happened?" And he'd be like, "Did you see?" And he would go, "Blah blah blah." And we, at, you know, we're all from New York, so we just start laughing. And I'm just like, "Okay," but you know, where people go, "That's offensive." No, it's just a person. That's him. We loved it. Like his boss said to yeah. us, "How was he?" We're like, "We're." I said to him after our first trip, "He's the only person in your company that's allowed to drive us." So when we would go to San Francisco to do deals, he would pick us up. He would be with us the whole week. We He's the only one because he was like a real guy. And I like that. Instead of the drivers are like, oh, yes, sir. No, sir. Um, and they get pissed off and you just see the knuckles on the wheels, like turning white. This guy just let it all out. We're like, this is the awesome. And we wouldn't tell people when they get in the car, we'd be like, dude, you got to get, dude, you're going to love our driver. And he would just go off and they'd be like, oh my God, isn't that great? And then after a while, it was sort of, that was the, the, the routine. If he was alive today, I would go to San Francisco just to go for a ride with him and video it and put that on YouTube. Half the people would love it. Oh, he, the other yeah. half the people would want to kill him. But he was great. Yeah. Nicest guy in the world, though. That's comedy. Just, that's comedy. Yeah. That yeah. is that, but real real life comedy. I just real love life it. Comedy. But that's yeah. what but that's what you're not getting in a driverless car. No, it's cold. Even, it's cold. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that. I want I want something. You know, I want a little love. So, and so you why is AI it? so AI chubby the the the, the pussy cat so 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 attractive to people and it's fake because he's because okay. he's he's cuddly and furry and well they, that, yeah, yeah I don't know well, if he's a cat they, they put he's him in very very sad situations they had a homeless version of chubby yeah. the cat yeah. you know but the one with Godzilla is the best. It's all the of the Godzilla one, sure. Yeah, that's the. Yeah. Is it, isn't that what everybody really... says? In 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 order of uh, you know, in order of success for the internet, first of all, porno. That's what put it right to the top. And after right the, the top. Uh, second, second is cats. Yeah. I mean, there's just endless. This is endless. what's on people's minds. I guess. Yeah. And sort yeah. of John's well, point, we, people are just getting stupider. Yeah. 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 Talking because about TikTok, stupid. Well, because of TikTok. It's all TikTok. TikTok. It's all TikTok's yeah. fault. And John would say, it's, it's the Chinese fault, John. Just say it, John. It's okay. Yeah. You know, well, they certainly about didn't it. help. They certainly didn't help the situation. Yeah. I mean, meanwhile, you go to China and TikTok tells you how to become a doctor or a lawyer. Go figure. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Right. And we're not going to talk about the Vietnamese president visiting the, the Chinese president last week, which was a very interesting meeting, according to The Economist. We'll, we'll touch that for another day. But the big story... That, no, that's a big story. That's a big story. That's a big story. Hey, you know, listen, uh, they're just a bunch of Asian guys having dim sum. Who cares? Um, so <laughs> the, I'm kidding. They had hot pot. Um, so the big, big story that everybody really wanted to talk about is the new CEO for Starbucks because the other CEO was kicked out after two years. This guy, I forget his name, but he came out of Chipotle. He lives in Orange County, California, and he they'd given him an office, an executive secretary. Newport Beach. And, Newport, thank you very much. Orange County, California. That's right. Um, Newport Beach. And he moved there because of Chipotle. He didn't want to go back and he didn't want to live in Seattle. So he gets to, he doesn't have to be there every week. I think it's one week a month he has to be there and no, his commute. Not. No, three, three, no, days, three days a week. A week. Be, like everybody else. Okay, because the article, the that's original article not, changed. That's three days a week, but that's if he's not commuting other places for, uh, yeah. for work. And of course, yeah. he's the CEO, so he, he just, Says, well, you know, this is my agenda for and the next gets on That's right. This is the agenda. On, on yeah. a corporate so, jet. Yeah. On a corporate yeah. jet. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't. That's, that's I a mean, deal. I'm that's, sure you're wonderful. That's super ridiculous. commuting. They call them super commuting CEOs. Super yeah. commuting CEOs. It's happening. It's happening. Well, it, I mean, he, I his argument may well be. I mean, I'll stand up for the guy, right? He may, he's probably saying, I need to commute in a Learjet. Uh, when I go to the office, because I work for Starbucks. I think they have a, it it's a Goldstream or a Challenger, David. I don't think it's a Learjet. Oh. I've seen a picture. Oh, it's either a Challenger or a Goldstream. In fact, it's, I think it's, it's a Challenger. It looks like the one John almost got shot in, in Russia. Go ahead. It's the, it's it's the, only, it's, it's the only, <laughs> only name I know. Yeah. You know where, where, where I live, there are all bicycles. We don't have... We don't have uh, right, right, right. You know, yeah. but, but I think he does that. I mean, so it enables him to, to test as much coffee as he possibly can every day before he goes to the office. So it's a, it's a longer trip and, you know, the safe one. A bit difficult when you're driving to drink your old coffee. Yeah. So, I don't know what he's going to do to, 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 to change to, uh, Starbucks' uh, luck. Uh, 
And well, the, the thing is, he did an he did an amazing job for Chipotle. Yeah, Chipotle, yeah. And the thing is, they want to get him. You know, they want to see what magic he can work for Starbucks. What and did he Starbucks do? Starbucks has an amazing brand. I mean, they've yeah. got an amazing brand, a huge network. So there's a lot that he can work with, and he's yeah. got a nice uh, 1.6 million dollar base salary. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice. Is that all? And up to twenty million yeah. in 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 option bonus uh, and bonus you know. and options and bonus if he does right. well. Yeah. I'm sure there's a buy. I think it's a three or five year deal. I'm sure there's a buyout. I'm sure there's this. I'm sure there's that. The guy who they just got rid of, the article in the FT was like nobody knows what his, they haven't discussed what his buyout was like of his contract. Uh, but I'm sure he got less, you know, ten or twenty million dollars to be kicked out early. But Starbucks yeah. having problems just in general. I think people are realizing spending nineteen dollars on a cup of yeah. coffee, you can go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a cup of coffee yeah. for two bucks, or better than you can just have a coffee pot in your house, and you know you can make all the coffee you want for free. That's right. Um, so you know, I think people are waking up to that. It's not, and now that we're we've never really left our recession slash depression from '08, and it's coming That's back right. again. I think people are like, oh shit, I that six dollars or whatever you, like Starbucks cost, I can do something else with that. So, yeah, yeah, I think there's a and, lot to that. And you can have your name spelled properly as well, which is, you know, which is always a good thing. Yeah, the the, so. the cost of coffee at Starbucks is is a little ridiculous. Long. Yeah, no, it's yeah. stupid. Yeah, it's but, just, uh, talk, just the dumbest thing. Talking about uh, big business, I heard this week that Seven Eleven is going to be uh, sold to a Canadian uh, company. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Seven Eleven. Yeah. yeah. Which is Japanese. Which is a Jap Japanese company, which I didn't know, but um, they are. Actually oh, they made a bid to... for it. Okay, they made a bid. Yeah. A Canadian, yeah. a Canadian company made a bid for the Japanese-owned Seven Eleven. Yeah, yeah. Which is very strange. Yeah. Normally, it's the other way around. But um, yeah. you know that song back in the eighties, My Sharona, and the other one, I'm thinking okay, turning yeah. Japanese. There you go. <laughs> Japanese. That's what's happening. So, yeah. yeah. We, do you remember we, there was that lucky brand? You know, a coffee from China, which was supposed to be like yes. The, what yes. the devil happened with them? They disappeared out of the. They, if you, I remember, there's an article in the FT. They, um, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, um, misreported earnings, misreported <laughs> some numbers. So yeah. when they came to the United States, um, it didn't work out really well. And then over in China, it's kind of like the last developer that went bust. Yeah. It's sort of like, look, we've got 12 million stores and three people are coming into it, type of thing. So they went by, right. unfortunately. Yeah, they went. Yeah, I forgot that they went. <laughs> so so they're, they're probably working somewhere. A little bit of fraud. Yeah, but the whole thing. You know, a little bit of shovel. Yeah. I mean, yeah. is, is he such a miracle worker? This guy, they're going to find yeah. out. They're going to they're find out. Hey, here's my problem yeah. if I'm on the board of directors, I know what it costs to run one of those jets per hour. So, and I'm assuming they have a corporate apartment up there in Seattle, or he has to rent an apartment. He's got to have show. something, yeah. All right, yeah. So let's say that the apartments, he rents it, no big deal, or they have a corporate one, that's fine. To run that jet per hour, let's just say it's $10,000 an hour. Okay, and that counts your crew, your gas, or whatever. But now I have wear and tear. I'm going to have to have maintenance. So for that thirty or 40000 to fly from Newport to Seattle once a week or wherever, in my mind, you have like what's your plan and you have six months now to do that because in the month seven if you've not in my mind now i've pissed away not just your salary but i've now pissed away another say five or ten or fifteen million dollars and whatever because they have to they built him an office or some crap they yeah they're building him an office in newport an office now yeah in newport they're just plus so an all assistant. that they're an assistant that's getting like 250 or whatever so that, and i'm okay with all this but in my mind as a board member i'm like okay Better be good. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, what did you do? I like how you long did you be around Chipotle? I would look at Chipotle and go, oh, it took you 18 months? 18 months. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, in six months, where are we? You have 12 more. And in like month right. 17, if I don't see much, um, I'm going to be like, we need to get a new CEO. But that may be an issue, right? Maybe you need to leave your CEO because the guy they brought in before this guy turned around whatever he turned around and he couldn't turn around Starbucks. But once again, not everybody wants to spend seventeen dollars for a cup of coffee. And in New York yeah. City, as John and you know, Michael, there's a Starbucks on every corner. Every corner. Because God yeah. forbid you yeah. should walk across the street. And I, I remember Louis Black said in one of his acts, he said, "You know, it's the end of the world when there's a Starbucks in every corner." I remember about a month later, I was in New York, and go. I walked. Um, I forgot where I was. And there's a Starbucks on this corner and a Starbucks here. And I'm just like, really, people are that lazy? 
to walk yeah. across the street. And meanwhile, in between all the Starbucks, there's this little Dunkin' Donuts. So where did I go? Dunkin' Donuts. Because I like their coffee. Because they did put crack you, cocaine you, in it. Did so, you meet, did you you meet you. Dunkin'? Did you meet Duncan? Yeah. Oh, yes, Duncan's a very nice guy. He sends his no. regards. Um, Starbucks might be but, expensive, yeah, we but you know, Dunkin' Donuts is just brown water. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just oh, it's good brown that. water, though. Don't, don't, don't no, say that. Crap, I'm, what, what it's you... not coffee. You can't call that coffee. What do you want to call right. it? Brown water. The, the I like it, though. They have good brown maybe. water. <laughs> <You> <laughs> know, it's, just, it's just not... Yeah. That's also... The best... The best coffee I think we've ever had, and John can agree, when we were in Colombia doing a deal, when we left at the airport, they had these black bags of Juan Valdez coffee. Remember those, John? Yeah. The, the big display. So they don't sell them in America. So we we bought them at the airport. And I remember when I got home and I had it, it was the best coffee I ever had. I thought I was smuggling cocaine at the time. I didn't know. I was a little worried. But you know, we each bought like a few bags, and I tried it. I was like, that is the best coffee ever. But you can only get it at the airport on the way out. So I thought that was very interesting. And I was like, oh, I'll get this in America. And the girl's like, no, no, it's only sold here. Um, and that was some of the best coffee I've ever had. So yeah, has become a coffee show. So, yeah. Well, that's the title of the show, the coffee show. Will, yeah. coffee, show. coffee talk, coffee talk. <laughs> How you doing? Well, I remember yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, yeah so it was. it's interesting. Well, I, good luck to him. I mean, I wish him nothing but the best. Um, of course. If you get $1.6 million, you better do no. something. It better be, it better be good. Do you think yeah. all the all the all the work people are, are going to say when we're going to boycott the uh, Starbucks because you know we're the the CEO is going on a jet and he's polluting the world? What do you think? No, the woke people are by, boycotting it because they think Starbucks is Jewish because Howard Schultz started it, and they're all protesting oh. some shit they know nothing oh, about no. in the Middle East. That's where the yeah. protest is coming from. I don't think the woke <laughs> people care. That some guys flying in a jet because they're too stupid to know that all their celebrities well, fly in jets too. So yeah, yeah, exactly. They all they all do it. Come on, everybody does it. It's not it's whether you're private or you're commercial, you're flying in a jet. And even the woke people, guess what? They're flying in a jet. Yeah. When they have yeah. to go somewhere, like the oh, family yeah. vacation, the people that are woke that live in the middle of nowhere, and they're like, "We're going to go to Orlando." They're not driving four days. <laughs> they go to the airport. With their, you know, overweight that they can't stick the belt in. Their kids are fat yeah, and they can't stick the belts in for those fat little pigs. So the plane's overweight. They have to kick off skinny people and get rid of luggage. And then those woke people get to fly in a jet and uses more fuel because, you know, they're wearing it down. Yeah. <laughs> the whole cycle. Right. The whole cycle. Yeah. That's whole, and that's, and by the way, that's science. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> science. That's right. Science. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, let's get into lost and found. What have we got? All right. Oh, they, we we got to play the way. We got to play the advert, play the, though. Play the, we play the intro. Don't Ever lost. wonder how millions vanish into thin air or how a single dollar can make all the difference? Join us on Lost and Found, where we dive into the wild world of financial mysteries. From misplaced fortunes to unexpected windfalls, we unravel the stories of people, companies, organizations, and even governments who've lost and found millions lost and found because every dollar has a story <laughs> kudos to you mr david kudos to you my david. friend yeah. that, wow you really are an artist really yes, yes, yeah, david is yeah, an artist. I, yeah. I used i used i used to be a piss artist but i'm not quite sure what that means yeah. There you go, David. That is very. That was really good, buddy. That was. I, 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 I'm, I'm all. I'm all for clunk. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. right. But I thought that. Well, I thought that might on. be a lot easier if we're going to cut them off at the end and you know, put them up in separate parts of the show. You easier forgot the pussy like, cat. Yeah. <laughs> the but, pussy yeah. cat. We can't yeah, show well, that. It's you know, copyrighted. Yeah. Well, we monetize the channel, hard. so <clears> they get upset. If you don't monetize the channel, you can do whatever you want. Play whatever music you want. Show whatever pictures you want. The minute you you hit your magic monetize right. number, yeah, not so much. <laughs> so there's some things we have to like know. be very careful of. Like when artists come on, we're like, you own the rights to your work, don't you? We had one artist come on and said, "Well, I've sold the rights," but I'm like, I'm like, yeah, we need a letter from them because they're just going to tell us we can't show your stuff. So that was an event. But anyway, enough about that. John, what's your lost and found? All right, so uh, <laughs> it's a big sigh. The, the yeah. good people of Oregon. Uh, oh yeah, a funding, uh, I guess it's a nonprofit. It's called Hacienda CDC, right? And it's, it's, it's funded by the Oregon state governments and they're offering illegal aliens. As long as you're not an American citizen, 
Right. Catch this. 30,000 to do, to buy a, a home, but it's only for non-Americans. Right? And this is You uh, explicitly have to be not a citizen. You explicitly have a, not to be a not a citizen. It's only for non-American yeah. citizens. Clients work closely. <laughs> this is the, the the with financial coaches and HUD certified housing counselors throughout the entirety of the home buying process. In addition to mortgage readiness and financial fitness workshops, and they provide opportunities for down payment assistance. So, you know, uh, you you pay your good high taxes in Oregon. The state right. funds this uh, organization, and they offer thirty thousand to buy a new home, but you can't be a citizen. I, you know, so so that's what they're doing. Big they're time, yeah. big time gain, dollar gains for non-citizens that come in, and most likely, you know, they're illegal. Uh, and uh, big dollar loss for Oregon taxpayers. Thirty grand. How about that? Wow! That's ridiculous. Well, for yeah. you non-Americans no, that are I'm, listening, I'm, jump on a plane. Hey, David, get to Oregon. Oregon. Get to I'm Oregon. Listening. Get I'm to listening. Oregon. I'm, I'm going to Oregon. I'm there tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> well, he doesn't know. He doesn't know where it is, but he's there tomorrow. That's like, right. Buy a house no, I, and then flip I it. Where, I know where it is. Flip it. That's national, right. I had no. I had Buy and flip. Traffic. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I hope I don't know if they teach them that in the workshop. Yeah, I got. I got a. So I got something from from Kansas. A Kansas, Kansas Beaverly, Kansas. We have a can in Beaverlick, Kansas. So, do we have a? So is it Beaverlick? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't. Well, this this guy yeah. did a, did a lot of work. It's, a, it's actually a Mish. pig butchering scam. Ooh, oh, okay. Oh, that must be must be a butchering be scam. A crypto we'll pig scam. Well, we'll the pig the pig was a uh, the former CEO of a small Kansas bank, and he just got. <laughs> And he was butchered by these uh, crypto scammers, and yeah. uh, he got caught. He got caught. He looted the bank. He looted a local church. He looted an investment club and his daughter's college fund. Nice. Wow. That's to the tune of forty-seven million dollars. Whoa. And uh, yeah, he his got, he got a lot of money for college. Twenty-four years in prison. <laughs> How many yeah, years? That's in prison? Twenty-four, 24 years. years in prison. Okay. Wow. 24 years in prison because he he was convinced by a scammer or scammers who now they you know of course they haven't caught them, right. but uh, this poor guy got got conned into taking all this money and sending it to crypto scammers because he thought he was investing in crypto, which is just uh, I mean how oh, good are these scammers? Right. Forty seven million dollars. Well, well, this is oh, this crazy. this is for the scammers. That's for the scammers. That's for the scammers. Big loss for let, Hardwin Tri State Bank, though. Yeah, yeah wow. that's terrible. And just and just to let you know, next weekend we're having a big party. I think it costs us about forty seven million dollars. Um, but don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> private jets for everybody. So yeah. it'll be that's nice. Right. That's so right. you come to my I house just, in Oregon. You come to my house in Oregon. I just, yeah. gonna, it's at David's house next week in Oregon, everybody. Yeah. So there was an it was a it was an article today in the Economist that talked about the strange, the strange um, dark matter and how strange dark matter really is. Stranger than we think. It is. And it was fascinating to read that. And I'm not going to go because all scientific, but I just thought that was, it's going to be a found dollar, I think, once they figure out how to harness the dark matter. So why, is it dark? why is it's it stranger dark. Than, than they even thought? Because it's I dark. guess what they're finding out now is everything they thought, like but most things is wrong. Like of the history course. of the yeah, planet, yeah. the history of the world, the history of the universe. Like everything is wrong. And now they're like, they, we have more technology and more, I guess, with AI. They can go look at this, look at that, and I think that's what's yeah. happening. Is they're realizing that there's all this wrong out there, and they're they're like, this is awesome. So well, oh, whatever gets us what closer to uh, free energy and uh, space travel, you know, let's hope it, it gets us there. Yeah, you're <laughs> dreaming. Go ahead. So, <laughs> uh, all right, Dave. All right, David's got something got, controversial. Like he's, I, okay, oh no, God, here no, we go. No, no, I can see the ready. pictures already. In Cogs. It's not. Oh, it's God, not controversial. Knows. It's just something. I, but I, uh, we have one of the few houses here. I mean, I live with a cat lady, but we uh, we're surrounded by dogs. I'm actually in dog country. Everywhere is dogs, 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 and you see people right. literally falling over each other and the dogs on a regular basis, which is quite amusing when I'm sitting downstairs with a cup of coffee. But that's by the by. But uh, and I stumbled upon this, and I thought, um, not that I've. Uh, we, 
I'm not being paid by them. We're not being, you know, we're not getting go. any freebies from not them. Paid them. Yet. Not, not paid, paid yet. Not paid yet. But I, but I yet. thought this. I, I thought this may well. Uh, this may well solve a few problems. So this is the tangle. Zero tangle the, tool dog leash with 360 swivel action. Are you kidding <laughs> me? Seriously? Yeah. What the yeah. hell? Uh huh. Yeah. So you can you can oh, you can run two dogs and uh, it, they. Uh, that it won't get uh, all tangled up and it won't fall over. You know where I saw this for them. sale? I saw this for sale on Tinder. Now I understand. Okay, good, good. Uh, yeah. Too, too dumb. Yeah. Too dumb. Oh, it's got durable, soft touch rubber. It's very yeah. enticing. Well, yeah. you know, that's why I was on Tinder and Grinder. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. So yeah. there you go. Now we know, so, we, now we know what it's go. for. Yeah. So I thought that would, uh, I, I'm sure there are people with, with more than one dog in the U.S. And I think that, um, uh, just the way that they've been heavily promoted. Remember those and, and remember it, those fat people that were on the plane? They should use that on their kids. Yeah. Well, Go you're ahead. not allowed to. You're not allowed to. I remember when I was a child, my mother had me in a harness because I was running around all over the place. And that was something like for the 1950s and the 1960s. Mm. And occasionally you do, uh, you know, people get really busy about it if they see it these days. But, yeah. you know, I think every child should harness, be in a harness, but, especially this. Especially those fat yeah. people in the middle of the state that can't get in a plane <laughs> and use the extra fuel because they can't get the belt on them. Like I said, yeah. that's science. So anyway, what do I know? There you go. But, but this boys, is this is the that was the dual doggy leash, and I'm sure there's a movie coming out pretty soon with that on it as well. So. Well, I've seen a dual doggy leash before, but that was on Pornhub. All right, boys and girls, <laughs> it has been a wonderful week to see everybody again. Gentlemen, yes. have a wonderful week to our, to our fan that watches it religiously every week. Thank you very much. Don't forget, you can catch us here every Saturday, wherever you get your podcasts. For podcasting, go to Two Old Farts Making Noises on YouTube, TOF Entertainment. That's the number two with the, the number two in an OF Entertainment. And you can catch us here every Saturday morning or go to the playlist and you can catch us there. And that's it, boys. We'll see everybody next week. Great show. Next week. All right. Good to subscribe and like. Bye-bye. Ciao.